Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here. And it's Saturday. Saturday means deck analysis. So I did want to pick one card that really kind of stood out to me uh, this week with the advanced format deck that we built. And I couldn't think of one better than Super Rejuvenation. So this deck, or this, sorry, this card can actually have so many uses in the right dragon decks. And again, we used it to help us uh, play and win with Exodia. Um, and quickly, uh, it is a quick play, so you can activate it any time during your own turn. Uh, you could also um, set this card and then activate it during your opponent's turn. Again, the way that we're going to use it, mostly during our own. Uh, during the end phase of the turn, you activate this card. Draw one card for each Dragon-type monster that was discarded from your hand and or offered as tribute during this turn. Now, real quick, um, things that offer as tributes would be effects, um, such as, and we were able to do this once or twice, is the Dragon Spirit of White, where it says you could tribute this card to Special Summon. Um, that counts as a tribute. Um, but um, going into links, Xyz, uh, synchronizing, none of those are tributes. Um, if we were going to play a Dragon Ritual build, um, those would be offered as tributes. And they could be offered as tributes from the hand as well. So it would still fit the theme. Again, we had a ton of Ignition cards. Uh, we were using... Uh, actually, I've got the deck sitting right here. I don't even know why I'm trying to think about it when I could just show you. Uh, we used Card Destruction. That was a great way for us to discard cards. Uh, cards of Consonance is a uh, cost. Uh, Dark World Dealings as the second portion of the effect. And the Awakening of... Sorry, the Melody of Awakening Dragon. Allowing us to not only get a discard, which could have grabbed us a card out of the deck anyway. Uh, but as well as grabbing another two cards out of the deck. Uh, and or my trade-in. So there were plenty of opportunities in the first rough draft of this deck to just go ahead and be able to discard. Um, that it was easy, and we were able to build up numbers. Plus, if you do activate a Rejuvenation uh, mid to late turn, and you draw into Rejuvenation during the end phase, you may again activate the next one, as long as you have space in the back row. And the way that we built this initial build, there's no reason you wouldn't. Um, so let's talk about cost. At the peak of this card's cost, I remember these commons were something like $10 or $15 a piece. They are thankfully no longer that expensive. Um, we do have a couple of print runs, though. We have the original, uh, sorry, not the original, but we have the reprint for some super rares with Mystic Fighters, uh, $18.32. Cents. Uh, we have the Lost Art Super Rejuvenation, and the, uh, the difference is it's going to show muscle and sinew. Uh, with red coloring as opposed to the alternate blue. Um, it's literally the whole art. But it will give you an ultra rare print run uh, for like $3.30 to just a little over five. Uh, the DB2s, uh, $20 to dollar. Um, the Legacy of Darkness, the one I literally have right here, um, two to 28 cents. And then Legendary Collection for Joey World. Uh, 23 to 69 cents. So again, you're not going to break your budget getting yourself a place out of these. Um, and another big thing, um, if we went back through my dragon deck, a lot of my dragon deck could be picked up as commons as well, uh, as well as this card. So instead of just playing my Destiny Heroes for my Exodia in the common charity, you guys could, for the most part, adapt this deck to common charity for Exodia as well. So super rejuvenation, doing some crazy cool things. And again, I'm sure that there are other dragon decks that would be just as easy to use this. Um, so get out, test it out a little bit, see what you like. Um, but it comes from, and this was a long time ago, um, I read an article I want to say was uh, Jason Greber Meyer. Uh, and what he used to do was anytime he would give you guys a card to talk about, he would write an article and include a deck. And one of the decks was Deep Draw Dragons. And I remember playing it. I remember playing with Exodia. Uh, he used things like Apocalypse and stuff. 
And uh, it was just really cool how this dragon deck was just able to just do all of these actions and then recur all of its resources at the end of every turn. So, guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, we got a little treat tomorrow. Uh, we're not doing one speed duel deck. We're doing two. We're going to do both of the Bastion Masawa alternate builds. I do have the wind build. We're going to start with the wind. Uh, we're going to do fire later on in the day. We're not going to have a spotlight this week. Instead, we're going to have two builds for full decks in Speed Duel. So I do hope that you guys are looking forward to tomorrow. And again, if you guys haven't already, maybe check out my other channel, Casual Duelist Gaming. And uh, check it out. we got some video games. Um, should be the first week now completed. Um, so we should have done just about everything but the Digimon game. Um, unless, of course, you know, I taped it. I'm taping this beforehand, so I may have gotten around to it. Uh, but we should have gotten a little bit into the Animal Crossing Borderlands, and I'm not sure if I've started uploading Skyrim yet. So, uh, if you guys enjoy any of that and you enjoy hearing me talk to myself like a proper psycho, um, get, get over there, check it out, and uh, have a wonderful day, my friends, uh, regardless of what you choose to do. Go out, go do something for yourself, and have a great one. See you guys later.